So you just downloaded RetroArch on your iPad, and you got the games you wanted to play. But how do you set up your controller? Well, I was also a little confused about that at first, so I thought I should make this quick tutorial. There are two settings you need to know when setting up your controller in RetroArch. There's RetroPad Binds and the Quick Menu settings. I'll show you both. After you connect your controller, open the menu. Tap the gear icon, go to Input, and find a setting called RetroPad Binds. RetroArch actually assigns your buttons automatically, so when you connect your controller to your device and then open RetroArch, most of the time, you should be good to go. You only have to change these settings if you notice something isn't assigned correctly. To do that, just scroll down and find the button you want to remap. Tap that button in the menu, then on your controller, press the button you want to change it to. When you're finished, you can save these settings by tapping Save Controller Profile. If all your buttons are assigned correctly, and you just want to customize your inputs for a specific game, then you'd want to use the quick settings for that. After you load up a game, hit pause, go to quick menu, then controls, then port 1 controls. Here, you can customize your inputs for this specific game. For example, I'm playing Gran Turismo, and in this game, X is the default button for accelerate, and a 2 is for shifting to a higher gear. Usually for racing games, I like using the trigger to accelerate, so I'll go to the settings and switch X with a 2. And don't forget to switch R2 with X. You have to switch both inputs, because RetroArch will not do that automatically. You can see now that when I press R2, the car accelerates, while X now shifts the gear up. You can also save your custom inputs by creating a remap file. Just go to Manage Remap Files, then tap Save Remap File As. The next time you play this game, you can just load up the remap file. No need to map your inputs all over again. Just tap load remap file, then pick the one you want. Alright, hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. If you liked the video and want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching.